hope you're all doing well. Um, the setup looks very different from what and where I usually film. I was sitting down doing some planning and I was like, I'm going to be filming a lot of videos in my room. And although I love my original setup, I kind of want to change things up because I, I just don't want you guys to get bored of the place where I film all the time. So today's video, we're going to be doing almost like a podcast style. Like it's a podcast vibe type of video. Um, I'm pretty much going to be giving you guys um, over 30 gift ideas or like bookish gift ideas like this is gonna be a bookish gift guide so if you have somebody in your life that you know that absolutely loves books and reading i hope that this video helps you and if you guys have any other suggestions please please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below but without further ado let's get started the first gift idea that i have which obviously i feel like is going to be the most generic one for this video is to get so many books um obviously like if they love books you can get them books i feel like if you know a series that they're in the middle of or if there's a book that like you can pre-order on Amazon, I feel like that would be a really great gift. Cause I know like now, like during the holiday seasons, you can get like a ton of book sets on like Amazon or Indigo or like whatever bookstore you have locally. So I think that would also be a really great alternative. But um, the actual first thing that I do have on my list is an Ikea cart. I actually have one. I don't use mine for books necessarily. I just use it to hold like skincare. But I feel like they're really great alternatives for like holding books if you don't have bookshelves or if you can't have like an actual like book case in your room. They're small, they're compact, they're easy to build. They're really cute because you can like decorate them and I've seen people like add like cute little like knickknacks and things inside of their um, like Ikea book carts with like all of their books. So it's really cute and you can hold like your monthly TBR and you can hold like your TBR drawer in there. And I don't know, I feel like I really like it. I definitely want to get one for my room. So I feel like another book lover would really like that. I've been seeing these all over social media and I feel like a book bouquet would be so adorable or really precious to give somebody or like a book basket. And I feel like if you don't just want to give somebody like a book, you could spice it up by doing one of those two things. So like a book bouquet, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Instead of flowers, you would substitute the flowers for like books and you would just wrap it and it would look really cute. I will insert pictures on the screen. And then for a book basket, you can make it adorable because um, not only can like you can like you obviously you would give them the basket But then they can also use the basket to hold books as well but You could put things in there like slippers or like their favorite candy and obviously like some of their favorite books So I think that would be like a really cute like alternative or an idea instead of just like giving somebody a book So there's also that as well. The third one is a bookmark. I feel like for somebody that does read I don't have any bookmarks actually and I feel like bookmarks would make really great gifts I absolutely hate folding the pages when I read um, but, um, I feel like in terms of like bookmarks, there's so many things that you can do. I feel like this can also be like a really inexpensive gift gift because you can like make some really cute, like paper mache bookmarks and you can follow like a bunch of tutorials on like YouTube or even like Pinterest. But I feel like if you want to be really fancy, you can go on like Etsy and you can like order like those custom bookmarks that are made of like resin. So they're like clear and they have like the dried flowers in them and they can have like their name and like cursive and embroidered on it. And I feel like that would be really, I feel like that would be such a really wholesome gift and I feel like they would also look like really aesthetically pleasing and I definitely feel like it's something that a book lover would absolutely appreciate and adore. This next one number four so excited I feel like if somebody gifted me a limited edition cover or a special edition cover for a book that I absolutely loved oh my goodness I would be over the moon I especially feel like because of book talk now I don't know maybe like authors were always doing this and I just didn't know because I was living under a rock. But nowadays there are so many different special editions that you can get and limited edition covers that you can get. I definitely know you can do that. Like if you know somebody that absolutely loves Emily Henry books, I definitely know that you could um, get some of like her limited edition like paperback copies. I've seen them on Amazon as well. So I think that would be a really great gift for somebody that not only loves reading books, but absolutely loves collecting them as well. And I know there's also other websites that you can go onto that like make custom book covers and like um, they can have like the spray painted edges obviously um because we're like in the midst of like like this is like the holiday season because i'm recording this in november what day is it today yeah november 13th when i'm recording this i feel like if you placed an order in right now for a custom book it would probably take like an average of like three months which i feel like if you wanted to do that you probably should have done that earlier but it could still be one of those things where like you get the gift for the person and you pay for it and then they just wait and then they get it later on in the year so i think that would be a really great alternative so there's also that Another one that I absolutely love would be headphones. I feel like nowadays there's so many different types of headphones that you can get. You can get like the Apple headphones. You can get, I have these Skull Candy ones. I've had these for almost a year now. I absolutely love them. I got them off of Amazon. You can even get them the Sony headphones. I've been wanting to get those for so long. Those are really good headphones.
films but basically i feel like when i personally like to read i love to like have like music or like background audio playing in the background so i feel like these would be really great and especially if they're noise canceling like if they're reading when they're on the bus or like when they're on like the plane even when they're listening to an audiobook too you could just slap on like your noise canceling headphones not have to worry about hearing anybody else i think this would also be a really great alternative when you're like at the gym too i know a bunch of people love listening to audiobooks when they're at the gym as well so i think that would also be really nice to have oh my goodness i saw somebody use this on tiktok or was it instagram reels instagram reels like a couple months ago and it was like a personalized stamp slash like a personalized book embosser and pretty much um you just get it and you like stamp it onto like the front page and it has like your name and it says this book is owned by so and so so i feel like if you know someone that has like a like a little personal library or like their goal is to build one or maybe they just have like a couple books that they own that they really like i again i think that this would be really cool to have and i kind of want to get one myself so i'm gonna be scouting around on the internet to see where i can find one as well if you have ever seen somebody reading a book and you have seen one of these or some of these sticking out let me let me show this closer if you've ever seen somebody reading a book and you've seen some of these sticking out just know they are a tabber okay i absolutely love tabbing books when i read them i don't tab every book that i read because i don't think that it's not necessarily like a thing some books i just like to read just for the fun of it because they're like fun little silly um lighthearted reads but then there's some other novels that i like to tap because i love to like go back and read specific scenes so i've tabbed this one this is terms and conditions by lauren asher and i've also tabbed um oh my goodness um fine print by lauren asher as well and again i feel like tabs would be a really great gift idea and i feel like um a lot of people who do read like to tab things and like come back to them later on um and i don't know i think that it would be really cool and they're really nice and they're actually really inexpensive on amazon as well reading lamps make really great gift ideas especially when you love to start like a book later in the day and you tell yourself i'm only gonna read like a chapter or two and then before you know it the sun has already risen okay it's the next day okay it's the crack of dawn and i feel like if you get like a be really nice because if you want to like stay up late at night you could like just turn your little reading lamp on because there are times where i want to read late at night but i don't want to turn on like the main light that's in my room just because i don't know like it's it's late at night i just don't want it to be on so when you have like a reading lamp it's it's nice it's low-key it's chill especially if you do share a room with somebody i feel like this is also a really great alternative so this would make an amazing gift as well so for idea number nine i believe we are on i feel like blankets are really great gifts for like book readers and even if you don't like love books or read books i feel like a blanket is still really nice but for me personally when i want to read i love just getting really like cozy and warm and a blanket makes that easier or makes that possible I've had this red blanket from Indigo for I think like two or three years now. One of my favorite blankets. It is so warm. It's absolutely cozy. And you can get blankets in so many different places. Like you can get them on Amazon, Walmart, the list goes on. So a blanket would be really nice. Another gift idea would be an Udi. I don't have mine right now. I'm not currently wearing it, but I can insert a picture. I have this and it's like equivalent to a blanket. It's like a hoodie blanket. It is so warm. And it is so soft and one thing i also love about it is it's breathable as well and i absolutely love wearing it when i sit down and i read like a book on like a cold like rainy day or even like a cold winter day they make amazing gifts they're really warm they're really cozy so i don't know for me personally i feel like it's an ideal part of the reading process for me so i think that it would also be a really great gift idea to give to somebody else as well some stationery i feel like would be really nice especially if you know someone that loves to like annotate their books you can get them um I forget what they're called. I can, once again, insert a picture and link them down below. They're these pens that I've had, and oh my goodness, they're some of the nicest pens that I've ever used. They have like really nice fine tips. I absolutely love using them when I Bible study. You can even get them things like highlighters, tabs, as I said before. Um, sticky notes would be really great too, because I feel like when you when you get like really serious about annotating a book, you want to go all in. So having some of those like stationary pieces would be really nice to have as well. Another one that I thought I'd just throw in there for fun is like fuzzy socks or like those slipper socks with like the little grips on them. Again, I love being really warm and cozy when I'm reading, and I feel like socks help me achieve that. So yeah a tote bag i feel like nowadays you can get so many cute tote bags these are perfect when you're going out and like you're you know doing your little like book shopping and you're like shopping for some books like when you're at the bookstore um but overall like tote bags are just really cute you can throw in a bunch of stuff in them and yeah i feel like they're really nice for like book lovers this one this next one i feel like 
is really popular now or is probably more popular because of book talk but it's book merch the amount of book merch that i have seen that i have literally had to like just take a minute to like uh, like a breather to slow down and relax because i'm like if i bought all the book merch that i saw on instagram I wouldn't have any money left to do anything else but there's so much cute book merch again if you know a specific series or a type of book that somebody absolutely loves you can definitely order some custom book merch i've seen so many cute little like crew necks and hoodies and sweaters and like stickers and like art frame as well not art frame like frame art the like picture frames like printouts that you can print out and like put in frames as well in like posters so again i feel like that would be really cool it's a little personalized it's nice it's nice to have you know what i mean another one that i feel like would be really obvious is getting somebody a kindle um i feel like with readers i guess it depends on who you are like some people really prefer to just read on their kindle other people absolutely love reading physical copies i think i'm it, i guess like for me personally it depends sometimes i'll read on my ipad other times i'll read on like physical copies but again i feel like this is a really great alternative for somebody that wants to read and likes having books but doesn't have the space to like actually put the books so i feel like this would be really great for a college student because obviously like when you go off to college and you're in a dorm you can't like haul all of your books and you can buy books but you know like a dorm is so small so you only have so much space to put books so again i feel like this would be really great plus kindle books are really f cheap and you can also get them for free at times as well so yeah. Ooh, another one is bookends. I feel like um, you can get some really cute bookends. I didn't really know what these are, but I feel like they're pretty self-explanatory. Well, I didn't know what they were until I switched them up, but they're pretty much what hold like books together. And you can see them in libraries all the time. And I feel like you can get some really cute bookends on like Instagram, not Instagram, sorry. You can get some really cute bookends on Amazon. I've also seen some pretty cute ones on Indigo as well. So I feel like these would be a really great way to like organize books. Um, in your room if you don't have bookshelves or if you want to put some books on like your dresser or something like that another one is an audiobook subscription i feel like um if you're like i feel like a lot of people like reading books but sometimes they don't have the time i feel like an audiobook is a really great alternative you can listen to an audiobook when you're at the gym cleaning your room running errands driving um so i think that would be really nice like an audible subscription that somebody could use throughout the entire year and just listen to their favorite books or just listen to like a bunch of different books that they've been wanting to read and they just haven't had the time to a reading journal i feel like would be really cute you can log down and write down some of the things that you've read or you can like i guess like document all the books that you've read throughout the year to kind of like keep track of everything i personally don't journal when i read but i know that there are people that do so i mean maybe this could be something cool and you know that like i don't know somebody that um reads could try like i've never tried it personally but i feel like it would be fun to try so the next one is blue light glasses i feel like this is really great if somebody doesn't have a kindle and they have like an ipad like for instance i read a lot on my ipad i use libby um and i feel like if i didn't want to get a kindle i think a cheaper alternative would just be to get like blue light glasses that they could wear when they're reading um like on their ipad or if they're reading on their phone as well i don't really think a lot of people read on their phone to be honest but i feel like if somebody does and you don't have the money to get like or the funds to like get them like a kindle i think blue like like blue light glasses would be a really great alternative the next one is candles i absolutely love lighting a candle and once again getting really cozy and like snuggling up um, under like a blanket when I'm reading and I feel like candles just add to that ambiance I feel like if you're afraid to get candles I've seen so many people have I don't know what they're called but like it's like a little melting pot and you put little like wax cubes in it and like it melts the wax cubes and it makes your room smell really nice and it's like a safer alternative for a candle if you're afraid that you're gonna like read and like fall asleep forget to turn it off so there's also that cute mugs oh my goodness i feel like oddly enough when i started reading i found myself buying more mugs which i don't even know where the correlation came from but again i feel like it just depends on like the time of the year like if somebody's like a coffee lover you can get them like mugs or if it's like during the colder season they can warm up some like eggnog or some hot chocolate and they can sit down and like read a book and it can be like a really cozy cute like wholesome experience so i feel like cute mugs look really nice and like i feel like they pair well with reading another one is an adjustable reading pillow again i sit on my bed quite often and i read a lot i have like a pillow that i'm like using right now i think it's called a backrest pillow it's like the one that has like the little arms at the side you can sit up on it um i got mine from walmart you can definitely get some um, on like amazon as well but i feel like these are really great when you're like sitting on your bed and reading and you like don't want to use your pillows or if you want to have like an extra layer or the additive layer of like comfort okay so i was doing some research and looking for some like book ideas 
or like not book ideas book gift ideas and i found out that goodreads actually has like it's almost like a lottery ticket or kind of like a bingo i guess you could say for pretty much it's like a scratch card for different like book prompts that you can um like read or can like help you pick a read throughout the year so i feel like if you either created one for someone or just got them that specific goodreads one that i'm talking about i feel like that would be really fun i feel like it would be a really great way for them to build their tbr in the new year as well this one i feel like would be like a really thoughtful gift which would be like a bookcase i feel like if you know somebody has like a sp like space in their house or in their room where they actually have enough space to like put a bookcase i feel like this would be really nice you can get them off of like, um, well obviously you can get some on Amazon, you can get them on Ikea. I've seen a lot of people have the one that, they're almost kind of like little cubbies, like you know when you're in like kindergarten or elementary and you would have like the little like rectangle, like it's kind of like a dresser but it doesn't have the drawers and you would like put books, not, I guess you could put books in them, like you would put your books or you would put like your shoes in them. I feel like you could get something like that for someone. Um, you could even build it for them too. I feel like that would be really nice. So another one is like, it doesn't have to be this specifically, but I, I wrote down like a Stanley cup. It doesn't have to be a Stanley cup. It can also be any type of water bottle. bit cold for an extended period of time that would be really nice personally i don't have a stanley but i have my hydro flask and i absolutely love my hydro flask um but yeah another one is slippers i feel like once again i feel like these are really cozy cute warm you can put these on when you're like reading i love wearing my slippers when i'm reading like at my desk or when i'm reading in like my living room or in my kitchen so yeah this next one when i saw this i was like oh my goodness this is actually a really good idea and it's like custom funko pops for like specific like book characters now i feel like with a lot of like romance and fantasy books maybe that might not be the case but i feel like if you know somebody that is a manga reader and they absolutely love manga i feel like this would be like a really great addition because i know for jujitsu kaisen demon slayer I mean, oh my goodness, like there's so many animes that have Funko Pops and I kind of want to start collecting Funko Pops for like the different animes that I'm reading. But if you can find some for like some of the books that are like really popular on like BookTok or like a book that somebody has read that they really like, I feel like this would be really cute for them to add to their collection. So yeah. When I was creating this list, I was like, oh my goodness, why didn't I add this on here sooner? And it's a beanbag chair and I feel like I love reading on my bed. I really do and i also like reading in my like desk chair but there's also something about having like you know like a designated chair okay maybe it's actually not that deep maybe it's just me but i don't know the, like the idea of just having like a little beanbag chair or even like a big beanbag chair that you can just sit in and just read is really nice and beanbag chairs can be really comfy you can get like extremely large ones or you can get like smaller ones but yeah i feel like a beanbag chair would be a really nice gift to give somebody that loves to read and as i was just talking about bedding before or not bedding i was talking about like how i love to sit down on my bed and read i feel like really cozy bedding would be really nice like you get something like a new duvet or like new duvet covers or you can even get them like a cute little like quilt set that they can use to put on their bed and i don't know i feel like when you have like cute bedding it's really nice as well so i feel like it could also double as a gift for somebody that likes to read or you could just get somebody bedding just because another thing that i was like oh we should add to the list is like face masks i feel like you can also i feel like sheet masks would be really nice because i feel like a sheet mask would be really nice because you could put it on your face and then you can start reading and then like when the time is up you can just take it off and like moisturize or like massage the rest of like the serum back into your face or like into your skin so you could do like a little bit of like self-care and read at the exact same time so i think that's a really good idea another one is a spotify subscription now that spotify has audiobooks on like the app i feel like if you got somebody a spotify that did not make sense i feel like if you got somebody a spotify subscription that'd be really nice because they could listen to music and also listen to audiobooks as well so i guess i so i feel like they would honestly get the best of both worlds the next one is a personal favorite and it's a himalayan salt lamp i've had my himalayan salt lamp for like three years i think now and i absolutely love it it adds such a warm cozy touch to my room and the thing is powerful like it's a small light but it's really powerful and it's really strong and whenever i read like late at night i love turning on my himalayan salt lamp as i said before it's just so cozy and warm and the vibes are immaculate so i feel like somebody else might really appreciate and like a gift like that Ooh, i thought like a diffuser would be really nice because again like I, I spend a lot of time reading in my room 
so i feel like if you don't want to get somebody a candle a diffuser would be really great there's like a plethora of different like essential oils that you can get somebody that they can like put in their diffuser it can allow the room to obviously smell really nice or what you could do is you could just get somebody the actual diffuser and then give them a gift card so then they can go out and get whatever scents they like and last but not least if all else fails and you cannot get any of those other gifts or the person that you're buying gifts for that loves books um does not want any of the gifts that i suggested earlier you can always just get them a gift card to their favorite like bookstore or you could get them like a gift card to like walmart or whatever stores that you have where you live where like they sell books as well because i know here where i live like we have indigo and you can also get books at like superstore and like walmart and shoppers drug mart as well so those are all my gift ideas for bookish people <laughs> i guess you could say um, I really hope you guys like this video. I really hope that it helped you or I guess give you a little bit of like direction on what to give or like some gifts that you could get um, for like your book loving friends. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you again next time. Bye!